hello <laughs> my divine infinite 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 human beings you are all that is ever has been and ever shall be so hi I'm just doing this I hope somebody shows up but I'm Elizabeth Monroy I'm the author of the latest release. I'm so excited about it. The Infinite Human. Uh, now, I'm an author. I've written many books. And in fact, I'm republishing some. So they're all coming out now, too. But I'm so excited about this book. I've waited my whole life for this book because it was an inside job writing this book. This book is about ascension. It's a chemical, an alchemist's journey of ascension. And it's my story and that of my twin souls. That's why it's so personal because it changed me as I wrote it. I, I overcame all my obstacles, you know, as a good hero does on a hero's journey. They deal with things. But in the telling of it, I think it's very healing for, for you too. Those of you who are on an ascension path who are struggling now with the good, the bad, and the ugly, <laughs> because that's all part of the process. And um, it was it was uh, challenging. In fact, when I sent it to my editor, she started, I chose her because she's very, you know, it's very discerning eyes, very judgmental, I'd say, kind of, in, in a good way, because that's what an editor does. But she looked at it, she's like, oh my God, you know, you did that, you did that. And I had this panic attack, because I thought, Oh my God! I want to take it back. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna share this one. I must be crazy telling people, you know, my 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 the essence of my soul. But if you read my book, The Infinite Human, available now <laughs> everywhere, I changed my mind because I believe in my definition of art. An artist, which I put in the book, is. Um, Someone who has the courage to bear their soul, to unbosom themselves, and in the telling of their story, of the sharing of their wounds and scars and deepest, darkest shadows, shadow self, they heal themselves and they offer the opportunity for others to heal. So my journey is uniquely mine, but yet it's not unique. It's the, it's the journey of every starseed that has come to this planet to, to create a change, every star seed of change, and all that we have encountered, all the obstacles, all the ridicule, all the bullying, of the feelings, all the feelings we've had of being uh, traumatized, being outcast, being um, the ugly ducklings, <laughs> when the truth is we are the beautiful swans that are here now. It's our time. Our time has finally come to shine and to share and to be, really, be the change. So we are the seeds of change that are, and the earth is so ripe for them right now. And there's so much disinformation out there. I talk a lot, I have a whole chapter on the false ascension matrix and to beware because I see it now, you know, that the things have kind of actually here, they're loosening up a little bit more. Um, here in Italy, I mean, the green, green pass still is in effect to some extent, but you know, things are starting to loosen up. But now is the time to be most cautious because everyone's kind of being lulled into a false sense of security moving into this false AI uh, ascension matrix, you know, putting all their power outside of themselves. So it's really important to be discerning. And uh, we're all children. We're like, you know, the children of God when it's time for us to become spiritually mature, grow up fast and become the embodiments of God or what I call the Christ, the infinite human beings uh, incarnate and, and, and create this shift that is now occurring and offer a solution, be the solution. So that's what's going on right now. And um, I hope the words that I've written so carefully and rewritten and rewritten and rewritten 30 years worth 
will uh, in, in incite a catalyst of change in you and in in the the planet um, and offer a solution out of the um, problems we are and like I said part of the spiritual maturity is though to become our own experts we have never been taught that we have been taught indoctrinated since birth that who we are what we have to offer the planet is invalid not important uh, bad evil and we have to relearn that we have to start gaining that trust and becoming uh, more and more every day connected with the divine infinite source within us and know that we are infinite and that's going to take practice so in discernment and opening you know yourself up your third eye to the higher frequencies which have now been cleared so the pathway is mu is cleared and it's much easier to go you just have to stop being scammed but that's okay we're all going to be scammed for a while that's part of the journey and I share that my my ups my downs my failures my learning from my mistakes and that's all part of the hero's journey so um, you know that's what's happening and uh, it's time for us to listen to everything but to begin to reconnect our feelings and that that God-given sense of what resonates with us because that's going to be your barometer to help you find what is true what is real and what stands the test of time all right my star seed said hi Wendy <laughs> Wendy you got a copy so I hope you're reading it um, I know some parts of it might be a little challenging but it, skip over it because I have it's a multi-dimensional book it has uh, you know just rudimentary <laughs> gut wrenching feelings from the root chakra of survival of, of sexual misery programs of, of conflicts with your twin souls and then it goes into the higher dimensions of you know being on the fifth dimensional earth and um, you know experiencing the higher dimensions and uh, a lot of disclosure so uh, about what is really going on the truth behind the lies so I hope uh, it assists people in their ascension it is designed to be a ascension guide for awakening infinite humans starseeds twin souls and the co-creators of the new infinite 5d earth there is a new earth being the old earth is gone so there is a new earth coming but your job is to choose discern which one you want to be part of you want to be part of the artificial AI one by just passively accepting laying back and letting you know other people think for you let Google think for you that's the easy road but the path less traveled the harder road the road that takes inner work discernment ascension shadow clearing um, and it's it's probably a road that is paved with a lot of tears too which I did and I'm still doing because you, you there's no such thing as you don't get a certificate you're ascended <laughs> you're woke <laughs> you're woke you're done that's it there's always another awakening in another finite container to shadow shatter as you expand in your infinite awareness of awakening always awakening into the infinite and that's why I call it the infinite human because the infinite is never ending the architecture is expansive and always goes out and comes back to source and that's what we're doing right now on the planet we're learning to come back to source the usurped artificial AI sacred geometry that we have been calling sacred has actually been co-opted the uh, flower of life is really the daisy of death the tree of life is really the tree of death the golden spiral is really the death spiral because it's, it circles in the Fibonacci these are all um, inverted systems of fallen architecture because our planet is fallen it's fallen it's fallen from its mother universe in Andromeda so it's a long 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 story which I go into hi Sue <laughs> I'm just telling people in fact it's, I'm here in Sicily of course and my book was just finished and I had to order it the co a copy retail <laughs> here in Italy uh, but um, it's at the post office but the post office is closed because it's siesta time so I have to wait till another uh, like two hours to go and pick up 
the first printed copy of my book, The Infinite Hume, which is finally out. It's everywhere. If you're in the States, it's easy to get and it's cheap. I've offered it. Uh, there's a print version, there's a EPUB version, and there's also on my website, if you don't want to do Amazon, but um, it's a good read. I think it's a very, I call it a magic book. It's a healing book. It's a book that guides you through uh, ascension into your own intimate, deep connection with the divine infinite source. It's very empowering, uplifting, and illuminating because I, it offers my personal story, my own gut-wrenching journey of where I bared my soul to the world and I was talking about how I can't believe I did it but I did because I think there's something very healing in that um, I talk about the ancient Greece Greeks you know and their amphitheaters in fact here in Sicily I have an amphitheater just down the road from me and you know it used to be in the ancient cultures everyone would gather in the little towns in the center and the in fact we have an amphitheater here in Casa de Mare del Golfo and everyone would gather there and the uh, playwrights would put on their latest play and their place would have moments of catharsis, uh, climax, and great catharsis that would be an emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical purging for the entire town. Many times they would be, you know, weep and, and vomit. <laughs> so I say, we don't have to weep and vomit over each other, but there is something very healing when uh, someone has the courage to unbosom their soul, you know, and, and, and share their darkest, deepest secrets in their shadows, which I did. <laughs> I can't believe I did. I was telling you, when I gave it to the editor, I was about ready to stop it. But no way, I don't, I'm not ready to do that. But I think in doing so, it was healing for me because the whole book was I wrote primarily for me because it healed and it helped me to ascend um, you know and I call it the great work do the great work my magnus opus uh, which is the alchemical uh, definition of transmutation so uh, it helped me do that but I think in the reading of it it will also help you because although my journey was my personal story story with my twin soul who was a physician um, Peter Monroy dr. Peter and his logos was self-love is the best medicine what a doctor <laughs> we don't have many doctors we don't have any doctors like that now but well we have a few maybe but um, you know I think it's also your journey it's a journey of every starseed every twin soul and everyone has a twin soul by the way Wendy okay everybody has a twin soul whether you're with it with them in the physical or not they're always with you and if you're not with them in, in the physical right now then it touches it's saying it's your time to turn inward and, and and work on yourself your own healing your own inner child and your traumas because as you heal you also are healing them and vice versa and you will come together in divine time when the time's right there's no way you can't not come together because you are the same and I have a whole chapter on twin souls uh, referring to Plato and the whole um, myth surrounding the uh, the myth of, of twin souls and how we were one and separated because we did not honor the gods so that is our power and in fact the whole problem as my first spiritual teacher said he was an ex-sergeant in the military the whole problem with this planet is nobody understands sex and ain't that the truth nobody does because the whole universe is sexual it's all masculine and feminine and we've been fought we've fallen into reverse polarities and sexual misery programs and all kinds of things that have sabotaged this divine union of soulmates and, and it's all booby trapped to stop us from coming together in sacred sexual alchemy which is uh, ascension which ascends you when you find your true soulmate and can make love with them correctly freely true love and then you exchange codes and energy energy that helps one another to ascend in frequency vibrational frequency so I hope that helps you guys and um, thank you so much and <laughs> what is this bring them on camera does anyone want to come on camera I don't know how to do that bring them on camera Sue I haven't seen you in a long time how are you doing bring them on camera okay guys I'm gonna sign off now because Kiki wants to go for her walk and uh, love to you all. And please be join my Infinite Human family, www.infinitehuman.com. Um, the reason I wrote the book was to help gather 
the starseed family of budding infant humans so we can network, so we can join together in unity, in love, and in a powerful force to be recommend, rec reckoned with We're, because we are creating a new, not only consciousness renaissance, a new thought form, and a new culture and a new infinite 5D Earth. So it is time for us to awaken, ascend, and unite. Ciao for now.